Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished filming a tutorial on the look I have on right now and I figured why waste it? So I decided to film a haul video on an um, altar run that I did a couple of days ago. So there was a 20% off coupon that a lot of the members got if you're a part of the Ulta, I think it's called Ultimate, Ultimate Reward Program. So they handed out 20% off coupons off of I guess drugstore brands and then the higher prestige brands got 10% off so I definitely took advantage and I did a quick little <laughs> altar run on Saturday so let's just get started um, I'm gonna start in no particular order I'm gonna grab out of the bag all right so this is the Neutrogena triple moisture daily deep conditioner with deep moisture benefits for soft, smooth, totally touchable hair all day. So I needed a new deep conditioner. I just finished um, Aussie's, I think it's called Ultra Moisture or something like that. It's like the three or four dollar one from the, it's like a purple bottle, three or four dollar one from the drugstore. I needed a new deep conditioner just to try different things out and I have super dry hair. Being a curly girl, you have tons of moisture problems so I try to stay as moisturized as possible um, so I chose this one um, it says three naturally derived extracts penetrate to help moisturize each layer of the hair strand so olive penetrates to the center meadow foam seed helps moisturize the middle and sweet almond wraps the surface I'm interested to try I know my cousin loves this um, so that's kind of who introduced me to it but uh, we'll see Next, another hair product. This is actually a repurchase. I um, needed a new leave-in conditioning spray after Organics discontinued the coconut milk spray, which was my absolute favorite. I was depressed when it discontinued it, so I grabbed this one, the Tresemme Split Ready Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So it's not quite the same as my Organics one, but it, it really is conditioning and it is a repurchase um, only because I can't find anything of this consistency that isn't super overpriced and also still conditions my hair. So I do recommend this if you were a curly girl and you want to just try something out from the drugstore side. Let's just get all the hair stuff out of the way. Um, I got the Garnet Fructis Fortified Shampoo Sleek and Shine for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, AKA my life. Um, I definitely have never tried this before. I'm a fan of the, I don't think I have it. Oh yeah, the Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And I needed a new shampoo because I finished the Organ Oil um, from Organics, both shampoo and conditioner. And I also finished my L'Oreal to Total Repair 5 shampoo and conditioner so I wanted to try a different thing I just feel like staying with the same shampoo and conditioner can sometimes get your hair used to it so I wanted to switch and just try this I've been using the cream for so many years that I've never tried anything else in this line so I kind of just want to check it out and see if it makes a difference so something totally random but it isn't for me I have, um, I am totally obsessed with loofahs and like body scrubbers in the shower and I kind of wanted to try this mitt. It's a, it's from Body Benefits and it's called, it's a dual sided bath mitt where it is one side says cleanse and the other side says exfoliate. I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm kind of annoyed a little bit with loofahs that kind of lose their touch or you can't necessarily get them all over your body and I feel like with a mitt you can get in every single groove that you're looking to get in and get all the I guess exfoliate your dead skin and I just really want to try it out especially for my neck um, sometimes people forget to scrub their neck or I or drop down the cleansing down to their neck it just your neck sometimes gets ignored and I really don't like the loofah for this kind of area just because it might be too rough so I thought a bath mitt might be a better alternative and on to the more fun stuff. So it was my birthday a month ago, and I got the CK1 mascara from Calvin Klein for free from Ulta, and it says happy birthday on the box, which I thought was really cute. Now this was actually super interesting to me because I have never seen a mascara do this. And when I say never, I mean never. It's 
actually like a cool looking tube. I think it's pretty, it's pretty classic, the black and white. But the interesting thing about this is that it's a regular wand this way, but then there's a click bar at the bottom where you twist it and it's kind of hard to do. And it shrinks. Do you see that? I can't, I don't want to zoom into the wand because I can't use, do this without both hands. But it clicks this way and then goes back up and it becomes that. So one is for volume and one is for lengthening, which is, I think, pretty inventive. I haven't seen many reviews on this, but the ones that I have seen um, complain about clumping. So I haven't tried it yet. I will definitely let you guys know, maybe do a first impression on it. But I'm kind of saving it until I go through the other 45 mascaras that I have sitting in my drawer. Uh, so I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, then I picked up, okay, so I, one of my, my favorite lashes from Ardell are the Demi Wispies or the regular Wispies. And they're always sold out at my Ulta. And the only ones that they had, well, that they always have, is the Color Impact, which is plum color. It's a plum color that enhances brown, hazel, and green eyes. This is, I don't think it's going to change my, I don't know, I don't think it's going to enhance my eyes, but I'm, I'm just happy I have Demi Wispies in my hand at the moment. And it'll probably change color with my whatever mascara I decide to put on, so I don't know, we'll see. And now on to some lip products. Oh no, I have one more eye product. So this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I mean, this is obviously a holy grail here on YouTube, and everyone has this. <laughs> But um, I just really wanted a white base. I use MAC, Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre to prime my eyes all the time, or I just use Urban Decay's anti-aging potion. But I really wanted like a more cream base that wasn't the like the beige color from Soft Ochre. So I, I mean, everyone uses the milk one, so I picked that up. And now on to my favorite part of my haul, the lippies. Okay, so. Um, oh wait, just kidding. I have a concealer. <laughs> I used this in my last tutorial. Um, no, not my last tutorial. My last video. It was um, a review on the Sephora Summer Stash. And I just, like I said, picked this up a couple days ago and I really wanted to try it out. I couldn't wait to do the haul. So I tried this out. It's a NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and it's in color tan. CW07. I am so surprised at how pigmented this is. I really do like it. Um, I just, I don't know where has it been all my life. I am a concealer freak. I have so many concealers because I have such bad under eye circles. But it has a regular doe foot applicator. And this color, by the way, I was shocked to see how dark it is. I Usually my problem with concealers is that I can't find one dark enough or pigmented enough to conceal what I need to conceal. So. I'm really excited about this. I used it in my last video and I used it also with this tutorial just to hide my um, under eye circles. Well, my worst one is on my right hand side and I used this today. So definitely check that out. Um, now on to my lippies. This is, I couldn't wait to use it. <laughs> couldn't wait to use it. It's the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in Seductress. And I've already used it once. I couldn't wait to do the haul obsessed with this. This is such a pretty color. It is just... Let me do a swatch. It's like a perfect matte nude. So... That's what it is right there. It's... I can't really... It's like a... I want to say like a dark light pink. Like a, a little bit darker than mauve. Or mauve. But it's... It's just gorgeous. I loved it. I, I almost got bright one I forgot what it's called but it's like a bright pink one I almost got that one but instead I opted for a more nude pink even though I don't need any more nudes in my life but I just oh god I couldn't say no to this it's just so pretty so that's that second is a Revlon color burst lacquer balm I don't have any of the lacquers I have so many of the balm stains though and so many of the matte balms that I have I don't know why I've never picked up the lacquer ones. I guess because um, that kind of like shine or like frost finish I don't really like on my lips. I like a lot of the MAC lipsticks and frost finishes I never use. Um, so I was kind of 
eh, hesitating to pick up the um, lacquer bomb. This is something, or the only color in the collection that isn't similar to anything that I own. So I got the color Koi, and it's a very, it's a nude color, but it's a dark brown. And I actually didn't discover how much I liked this color until I got the Makeup Forever Rouge lipstick in the Sephora Beauty Insider Birthday Kit. It's like a mascara and a lipstick. That lipstick was a very dark nude and it kind of reminds me of this. So if you can just see that color. Um, I'm interested to see how it is. I mean, it'll probably just be nude. It'll probably be like a, a My Lips But Better color on me because I do have pigmented lips. But eh, we'll see how it goes. It has that great peppermint smell that I love from the Red Bomb Balms thing. And last but not least, I got a lip lacquer, and it's from Rimmel London. It's called the Show Off Lip Lacquer, and I got it got it in the color Stellar. This is oh, oh, oh pigmented, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't even look at that. What? What? It is. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a lip, like a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. But this is absolutely gorgeous, and it has a regular doe foot applicator on the top. But I, and it smells like, oh gosh, what is this? It smells like a cherry popsicle. Oh my gosh, it smells like, like jello, like cherry jello, <laughs> if that makes sense. But it is super pigmented, it's super glossy, and it honestly, I haven't worn this yet, but I am so, I'm looking to, to wear this. But. Where am I going to wear this Monday through Friday going to work? I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to wear it this week. It's gorgeous. But I think that was it. That was my haul. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.